You gotta get rid of that. You cannot be using that. You gotta give it up. Come on. Get it up. Give up the bat or use the bat. Right away, I got to point out that both Casanova Productions and Freak Nation both have members wearing very fancy shirts. I mean, I, I'm in admiration of their shirts. Both two very theatrical teams right out of the gate. I'm not sure what sort of theatrical things you're talking about here, looking at Fernando and that wonderful stylish shirt. That is a pinnacle of fashion, and we should aspire to even take part in some of these productions. We wish we could be involved with this. Castle Production, guys, a tag team I'm very familiar with making their, like a lot of people here we'll see today, making their first appearances in Seaway Valley. And they want, to, they want to impress, but most importantly, they just want to impress themselves. They don't care about the fans. They just want to come out here and win this matchup against a staple tag team here in Seaway Valley and Freak Nation. Well, let's see how these beautiful men fare in the ring against this team of freaks. We noticed at the beginning the ref having a bit of an issue with one not wanting to give up his weapon. May there be some shenanigans later on. Time will come to tell. We're seeing Freak Nation use a fast and effective strategy here to separate Casanova Productions with a fast striking offense. What they're doing right now is classic tag team, cutting the ring in half, making quick tags, making sure that the other partner can't get into the ring and save his buddy. Jordano, the producer, coming into the ring. and uh, Is there even a tag? I don't know if there's a tag between Castle Productions, but it's going to be slid by by referee Brian Renda. I think referee is going to have his hands full here looking after Freak Nation. Freak Nation rallying the crowd, stirring up some chatter. He's got his butcher's apron on here. He's ready for the slaughter of Casanova Productions. And guys, we are in Halloween season, so you know what better way to ring in Halloween season with Freak Nation. Freak Nation doesn't need Halloween. Every day is Halloween for Freak Nation. I don't know where they're looking for to find their trick or treats up in here, but there's no candy at the end of this. They're looking for a win, and they gotta get back in that get get Casanova Productions back in that ring to get that win. However, will they resort to using some tricks to get to secure the win? Or will Casanova Productions treats in the ring win them at the end of the day? Taylor in there now with Fernando De La Cruz. And now you see, oh, the producer setting up the cheap shot, which is what Castanor Productions does so perfectly. That's what he does, he produces. He produces the action, Fernando produces Fernando. results. Come on. For a time, guys, Castle Production had a valet, Namita, who was always the person to watch on the outside, adding a little extra factor in Castle Production matches. Fortunately, she's stepped away from wrestling during the hiatus, but still Jordano and Fernando capable of pulling some underhanded tactics. Well, with a quick win here, we could probably see Casanova Productions put out a casting call for new uh, new opportunities with a win here in Seaway Valley Wrestling. That's a great attitude to have, Smart. Very, very opportunistic. Casanova Productions and the productions that they can put on for Seaway Valley. In the I mean, if you're going to pull out a tag team win, why not against one of the marquee tag teams in Seaway Valley? Absolutely. When Suffice to say, when you think Seaway Valley, we think of our Freak Nations. Freak 
Nation really needing to make a tag here. Casanova Productions just dominating the match that fuck And you just saw a risky maneuver there for now. Dela Cruz tossing Taylor towards his side of the ring. Realized his mistake quick and cut it off before he could tag his partner. Ref having some issues here with Freak Nation. Dirty underhanded ref is not paying attention. One, two, oh. Now if the ref's back had not been turned, would that have been the end of the match? Great point, Ash, great point. Tag made, Casanova Productions making use of those quick tags, keeping each other fresh in the ring. Manson in a lot of trouble, guy. I mean, sorry, Taylor in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Now Giordano toying. To Adding insult to injury here. Out on the side, just wanting to be part of the main event. I mean, I'm not used, guys. Last time I saw Saiso Jack, he wasn't painted up. He was more straight lace, clean cut. This is a, a freaky transformation. Maybe inspired by the movie Joker, perhaps. I mean, Taylor always was a freak as long as I've ever seen him, but Jack, I mean, I remember back the Jimmy Cash days going back a long time ago. And the two count. Casanova Productions, while being dominant, still not able to put it away just yet over Freak Nation. And Giordano taking some opportunities to jaw jack and be the producer, and it almost cost him with Taylor taking the uh, offensive. Fernando Tag back in. Setting up. And there's just really a, no opportunity here for Freak Nation. Oh, as I say that. Oh, interference from the outside. Didn't see the tag, Fernando. Legal man. Sunset flip. One. Oh, into the sharpshooter. He's got him deep in the sharpshooter here. Sitting back. Literally on the back. He's put up with so much already. Is Does he have anything left to pull himself to the road? Guys, there's always those three options when you're a submission hold. Find out, pass out, or tap out. Oh, and we've hit the rope. Taylor fighting on his position, getting to the bottom rope. Casanova using full use of the count to inflict as much pain as possible on Freak Nation. Fernando not taking any time to waste, getting back at it, making sure to Put him back on his feet to exuberate the damage that's been done. Back to the corner, Casanova Productions looking to take advantage. Casanova Productions has been masterful in their work of keeping Freak Nation here in the corner on their side, keeping Sideshow away from his partner. But you're seeing that Sideshow refusing to get into the ring, staying on the apron, Looking allowing Casanova Productions both to double team his partner. Freak Nation just powering up his partner. Looking how Jack does this. Taylor climbing back up. Come on, oh, huge! And finally, and tag made! And a beautiful clothesline. Clothesline from Sideshow. Not the prettiest crossbody, guys, but effective nonetheless. One, two, oh, two. and a kick out. Quick two. Created the opening, uh, but momentum for shift. Yeah, exactly. Momentum shift to Sideshow. Let's see what he can do with it. He'll be fine unless he steps on a ring. That's the weakness to any side choice. Uh, on the ring. Oh, and Casanova Productions breaks it up. Casanova Productions doing no production to Cape Fear here. Freak Nation looking. The tag match kind of falling apart here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, gets oh. launched. Ow, ow. A little bit of a low blow. A little bit. Freak Nation setting up. Beautiful tag finisher. Oh, Taylor, the he's freak. not the legal guy. Not the legal man. Not the legal, not the legal man. Not the legal man. There's no tag made. Can you believe that, guys? Referee did not see the tag. We've talked about how chaotic and how off the tracks this tag match was going, but still referee Brian Renda realizing that was not the legal man being pinfall. While experienced pinfall. official Brian Renda knowing, keeping his eyes and keeping order on this match, knowing that legal man was not in. Shenanigans happening. The Casanova Productions getting over. He's got the mallet. Oh! And he accidentally hits his own teammate. Shades of Gallagher with that mallet shot. Oh, and roll up. One, two, three. Sideshow with the roll up. And Freak Nation is your winner. Freak Nation. 
And that's right, guys. 11 years in commentary, and I finally bust out a Gallagher reference. Yeah! <laughs> Huge win for Freak Nation.